final this. been a very big week off the field, hasn't it? Uh, the AFL's announced a new drug code. That's right. And it goes something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the doctor could have been seriously hurt, uh, but luckily for him, when he hit the ground, his airbag went off. <laughs> a Collingwood supporter, a moron, and a doll bludger walk into a bar. And that was just the first bloke. <laughs> Uh, so here's a new innovation. It's the Velcro membership card from Richmond. <laughs> so you can cut your heart, cut in half, and then you can still get to the game the following week. <laughs> Jess Sinclair came out and said uh, that uh, the boys like to call Dean Ladley their coach Bible because he's so hard to read. It's quite a coincidence. Uh, Sam used to be called the Bible. Is that right? Uh, yeah, they'd always find him in cheap motels. <laughs> I've actually got my own copy of the Collingwood Encyclopedia. There it is. It's the Collingwood book. Encyclopedia. It is a good book. I was actually given uh, this uh, by the cops because I had my house burgled. They wanted me to look through and see if I recognised anyone. <laughs> Is it easier? Is it becoming a little bit uh, more readily available for players to take drugs like ecstasy? Yeah, well, the club's got right onto it. I know they first became suspicious during the uh, when the boys were singing the club song when some of the players turned out the lights and danced to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not on the real we're world. We're all marching out of step with you. They probably are just about lost interest in this as well. They can't have the rest of the night on. I might. Trip. I think the problem is Ed, when he bought his new face, it was negatively geared. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was an ugly incident. Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson was choked so badly, his whole face turned teal. <laughs> <laughs> Essendon are renaming the Telstra Dome the pressure cooker. That's and right. I believe at Carlton they're renaming the Optus Oval the microwave, because after five minutes, they're done. <laughs> Forty thousand nine hundred and three. So someone's taking all the trouble to count those out. Forty thousand nine hundred and three. Don't you do it? Don't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, John Howard said uh, about, it was asked about Saddam Hussein. He said we should put him in a place where he's no threat to anybody. I believe they're looking at the Hawthorne forward line. At the <laughs> I suppose the biggest news this week has been in the coaching. Uh, Neil Craig uh, been appointed for three years or three haircuts, whatever comes first. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I believe uh, Terry Wallace as well. Terry's been appointed for, uh, been given five years and the last four years to be served concurrently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a uh, letter come in here uh, from uh, Ray from Reservoir. It says, we wish to say how disgusted and displeased we are with the DVD of the best of the footy show. While watching the DVD with our five-year-old daughter, the segment showing Crawford dacking Sam Newman came on. And when asked what was it by our five-year-old daughter, I had to tell her it was Sam's belly button. <laughs> 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 well, the thing is that uh, now she wants to know, is it an innie or an outie? 